Hi. <laughs> mm. oh. uh, so, how much time you got? Hmm, not sure what. Well, because it would give me great pleasure to take you someplace wonderfully extravagant. The grill, maybe. That way I can explain and we can celebrate all at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we celebrating? Okay. Okay. Sit down. Dad, sit down. Sit down. L and B. Here's below some Brenda. What do you think? L and B what? Records. What do you think? What's the punchline? Well, that is the punchline, except it's not a joke. Why are you staring at me like that? This is for real? Yeah. When Brenda brought this up the other day, I thought... You thought what? Well, I, I thought it was just another one of her excuses to get out of going to college. <clears throat> well, it's not. It's our dream, and we're going to make it happen. And it will have the absolute most profound effect on our lives. I am going to turn Eddie Maine, my one and only, into a household name. And then we're going to live happily ever after. Brenda? Yeah. Isn't that the most brilliant idea you ever heard of? No. It's absurd. I'm going to ignore that crass initial reaction on the grounds that you probably can't grasp the enormity of the moment. No, I grasp it, okay? I'm just here to tell you that you are courting disaster. Your confidence in me is overwhelming. Sweetheart, oh. sweetheart it's not you. It's Brenda. She's a kid. I'm the one who's going to be running the business. She is going to bring in something much more important. The money. Brenda does not have that kind of money. No, but she has friends that do. Oh, mm -hmm. you're talking about a loan? Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, who in their right mind is going to lend somebody like Brenda the kind of money it would take to start a record company? Well, I can tell you one very interested party. Mm. Funny Corinto. <laughs> Do you know who Sonny Corinto is? Hmm. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. You see, ever since grade school in Bensonhurst, he was friends with my brother Louis. Right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Are they still friends? No, they went their separate ways. Lucky for Louis. Right. Listen, I know Sonny's rep. He had it back then, too. But he's basically a good guy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm hearing this. He's a good guy who will finance this new business with illegal money. No! Do the words laundering, does the word laundering mean anything to you at all? Absolutely none of that. I made it very clear from the get-go. This has to be legit. Oh, well, then that would certainly uh, put my mind at ease. Sonny may be a lot of things, but he's not a liar. Has he told you where this money's coming from? He is club. His former, former club. Which was shut down by the police. Oh, yeah, that money's clean. Any profits he took out are absolutely untainted. This suddenly sounds like a Rico here. Oh, would you just quit it? I mean, it's not even definite that Sonny's going to be investing with us anyway. But Brenda has other sources of venture capital, which makes her a very valuable business partner. You're referring to... The mega wealthy quarter main, for one. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Brenda's adoptive family. Well, if she can... Try uh, lose some money from them. I guess that's certainly preferable to uh, dealing with a gangster. A legend gangster. Tell me something, Lois. Since you and Brenda are so close now, can you enlighten me as to what in the world she sees in him? Danger is alluring. Besides, he's cute. Cute? Mm hmm. Do you share this opinion with her? Absolutely, I do. I mean, when... When Sonny smiles, he has these dimples, you know. <sighs> I've never seen him smile. Well, there you have it. You see, I have, Brenda has. He could be most charming. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Especially when he fits you for cement galoshes. Would you cease and desist, okay? <sighs> I mean, 
look, I know people. Sonny is a good businessman. He's going to look after his dollar. And if he invests with us, he's going to stick with us, because that's how we operate in Brooklyn. You got it? Got it. All right, look, can we relax about this? I mean, whether Sonny's going to invest with us or not isn't even the important issue here. Brenda and I, by hook or by crook, are going to have our very own record company. And it's going to be a wonderful thing. Wonderful. There's not going to be anything we can't do. Mm. Spring is in the air. Isn't that supposed to turn a young man's fancy? And, and the bees are buzzing and the birds are chirping and you're with me. I got my very own record company. Mm. Oh, this is so incredibly major. Come here, you. Come here, come here. Uh, does that make me the boy toy in this relationship? <laughs> that and so much more. I am riding you and the idle rich straight to the top. Lois, hmm? you can't hang your star on one group. You really should expand. Find more talent. Don't think I haven't been looking. I already have a couple of very strong possibilities. One right here in Port Charles. Who? Oh, now don't get all bent out of shape. You're always going to top my personal favorites. Let's, let's just drop the shop talk, shall we? Always makes you so edgy. Think spring. Hmm? But really, is this the best time to start your own record company? Yes. Will you stop worrying already, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eddie, do you believe in fine? Mm -hmm. You know what this reminds me of? The dogwood trees in Brooklyn? Ecclesiastes. second there, I thought you were talking about the name of some group. Oh, it's the Old Testament, Eddie. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that from which was planted, time to kill and a time to heal, time to weep, time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. Time to gather stones, a time to cast away stones, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to cast away, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. Believe you were said about the thing. Yeah. Just the Christina made me memorize it, must have prayed. Mm. But you know, there is a time for everything, Eddie. And whether you want to believe it or not, now is our time. <laughs>